The UFC will return to Sweden on June 1st for UFC Fight Night 153, Gustafsson vs. Smith. So here's 5 things you might not know about Swedish light heavyweight sensation and 3 time UFC title challenger Alexander Gustafsson. I hate worms. Number 1. Early career. So just how did Alexander Gustafsson go from amateur boxing to UFC title challenger? He was born in Alboga, Sweden, January 15, 1987 and began training boxing at around age 10, becoming the Swedish national youth champion at light heavyweight in 2003 and began training MMA in 2006, making his pro debut one year later. He won several more amateur Swedish boxing championships between 2008 and 2009, including defeating the national champion in an amateur bout, and was set to compete at a national level but signed with the UFC in 2009, focusing full time on MMA and becoming one of the best light heavyweights in the world. Number 2. Alexander the Scuba Diver Gustafsson it's pretty well known that Gustafsson has a love for nature and the outdoors, so aside from being a top 3 light heavyweight, Gustafsson also is a huge scuba diving fan. With over 600 completed dives, he holds the rank of dive master, which is just below the rank of scuba instructor. He began in 2006, fell in love with it, and has continued scuba diving since. I like the, the whole thing with equipment and being underwater. Number 3. The one that got away. Surely there's no such thing as a cursed matchup, right? Well, whether you believe in voodoo curses or not, sometimes there's certain fights that just don't happen no matter how many attempts are made. For Gustafsson, this would be a frequently scrapped bout with Brazilian veteran Antonio Rogério Nogueira. The UFC would first book Gustafsson vs Nogueira for UFC on Fuel TV 2 on April 14, 2012, the UFC's first event in Sweden, but Nogueira had to pull out due to an injury, being replaced by countryman Thiago Silva. The Nogueira fight was then rescheduled for UFC Fight Night 37, March 8, 2014, but Nogueira pulled out due to injury just 5 days after a fight was announced, being replaced by Jimmy Manoa. Nogueira would also tell the media that he hadn't officially accepted the fight. And for those thinking third time would be the charm, they would be wrong. Gustafsson and Nogueira were set to face each other once again at UFC Fight Night 100, November 19, 2016, but this time Gustafsson had to pull out of a fight due to a back injury, being replaced by Ryan Bader. So it seems the MMA gods simply did not want to see this fight. Number 4. Acting Credit there are plenty of charismatic personalities in MMA that are very well suited for the big screen, and while pretty much universally well liked, Alexander Gustafsson is probably not an MMA fighter you would suspect to have played a part on the silver screen. Between 2014 and 2015, he played a small role as the kind of equivalent of a SWAT team leader in the Swedish movie series Johan Falk, a series that Gustafsson was actually a fan of. Number 5. Influences and Relations in regards to boxing, which is obviously what Gustafsson began with, he's often been compared to legendary Swedish boxer and former world champion Ingemar Johansson. One of the most devastating barrages in heavyweight history has sent the title out of the United States for the first time in 25 years. Ingemar Johansson becomes the first Scandinavian-born fighter ever to hold this most important of all boxing titles often due to the similarities in how a Swedish underdog would challenge an American champion and shock the world with her performance. Continuing with boxing, Gustafsson has ties to Swedish boxing world champion Badu Jack and they've trained together multiple times. Gustafsson has repeatedly cited the Russian legend Fedor Emelianenko as one of his biggest inspirations in getting into MMA, and after being handed his first MMA loss by a submission to Phil Davis, the Swede would choose to learn from his mistakes, flying to San Diego to train with Davis, becoming a much more complete and well-rounded fighter, as well as building a relationship with Davis and many of the other fighters and staff at Alliance MMA. In regards to other influences, Gustafsson, who was a Christian, had a very intimate relationship with his former pastor Viggo Karlsson, who sadly passed away a few years ago. Telling Swedish newspaper Expressen, he was like a spiritual mentor for me. Many athletes use the aid of psychologists to handle stress, but for me he was there giving me advice on most things. He is currently engaged to his girlfriend Moa Antonia Johansson, who Gustafsson proposed to in the UFC Octagon after knocking out Glover Teixeira in Stockholm, and have a couple of two children together. So, those are 5 things you might not know about UFC light heavyweight Alexander Gustafsson. 
Do you think he beats Anthony Smith at UFC Fight Night 153? Let us know in the comments, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.